Badminton is a game where two players, or teams of pairs, single sex or mixed, hit the shuttlecock across the net into the opponent's half of the court without them being able to return it. Most matches are made up of best of three games. A game is won by the first player or pair to reach 15 points for men and 11 points for ladies singles. It is only the server who can win points. If the receiving player wins a rally, they then become the server. The playing area is 17 feet wide and 44 feet long with a 1 foot 6 inches gallery on each side. This is extra to the 17 feet width. This makes the total width 20 feet which is used for doubles. Width of the back gallery is 2 feet and 6 inches. The service line is marked 6 feet 6 inches from the net. Shuttle falling short of service line is considered as fault or wrong serve. The height of the net is 5 feet 1 inch from the sides and 5 feet in the center. In singles, side galleries are not included in the play. The shuttle falling in the back gallery is also in. In the game of doubles, side galleries and back galleries are included in the game but during the service back gallery is not included. The shuttle weighs about 4.8 grams. There is a domed base of cork with a small lead weight. The skirt is made of feathers or synthetic materials. The racket weighs 100 grams. It is made of either metal, fiberglass, graphite with metal, fiberglass or wooden head with the strings made of natural or synthetic gut. There is also toweling or leather wound around the handle to help grip. The players toss a coin or spin a racket to decide who serves first. Serving is done diagonally and the first serve is made from the right hand service court. The server must be standing within the correct service court with part or all of both feet on the ground. The serves must be made underarm and the racket must hit the shuttle while it's below the server's waist. The server gets one chance to serve correctly. If they miss the shuttle or do something wrong, it is a fault and the serve goes to the opponent. The receiving player must be in the correct service court, diagonally opposite from the serving player. They must have part of all or both their feet on the ground. Once the serve has been returned, players can move around the court as they please. If the shuttle hits the net from the serve, it should be played, either served again if it does not go across the net or played by the opponent if it does. If it hits the net during the play, it would be a fault. Ends are changed at the end of each game and if the match goes to a deciding game, ends are changed when one player or pair reaches 8 points for men or 6 points for the ladies. The server alternate serves between the right and left service courts until the service is lost. When the receiving player has won the serve, they serve from whichever side of the court they are in. Both players change sides for every serve. If the score is an odd number, it's made from and to the left service court. If the score is an even number, it is made from and to the right service court. Now let us understand the serving rules for doubles. Each side has two chances to serve. If they lose the rally on the first serve, they do not pass the serve to the opposing side. Instead, the other person in the pair serves. If they lose the rally on the second serve, then the serve goes to the opposing pair. When the pair regain the serve from the opponents, they serve from the right-hand service court. For the first service of the game, the serving pair are allowed only one chance to serve. In doubles, it is the pair who are serving who changes sides in the court, not the receiving pair. Each pair of players do not have to alternate hitting the shuttle between them. One player can return two or more consecutive hits in a rally if they wish. When the serving side wins a rally, they add a point to their score. When the receiving side wins a rally, they do not get a point, but they get the right to serve. The score of the serving side is always put first. Once the score reaches 13 all in the men's game, the match can be set to 5. This means that the first player or team who reaches 13 can either continue playing to 15 points or they can decide to play for another 5 points. 
If they do this, the scores are set at 0-0 and then it is the first player or team to get to 5 who wins. For example, if the score is 5-4, then the results are recorded as 18-17, not 5-4. This option also applies for when the score reaches 14 all. If they decide to play for extra points, it is to 3 points instead of 5. For the ladies game, the setting is to 3 points at 9 all or 2 points at 10 all. Setting is not allowed in handicap games. Here are some of the ways points can be lost. Missing the shuttle. Not hitting it over the net or hitting it into the net. Hitting it outside the court boundary. If the shuttle lands on a line, it is in. But if a player steps on a line when serving or receiving, they are out. Touching the net with a body or racket during play. The shuttle must not be hit until it comes across the net line to the hitting player's side of the court. They can follow through across the net, swinging the racket across as long as they have hit the shuttle on their own side of the net. Players can jump to play shots or play them lying down or with one foot on the ground as long as both feet are on the ground when serving and receiving. That's it for this edition of the Sports Karma. Till we meet again, it's goodbye.